हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू दिस चैनल एंड वेरी वेलकम टू दिस प्ले लिस्ट इन विच वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट द इंटरनेट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड सैम्पलिंग क्वान्टाइजेशन एंड टर्म्स लाइक एनोलॉग टू डिजिटल कन्वर्टर रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन एक्सेट्रा सो अप अंटिल नाउ वी हैव कवर्ड प्रेटी मच ऑफ जी टी यू सिलेबस ऑफ आई ओ टी एंड वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड सैम्पलिंग एंड रिकन्स्ट्रक्शन एज वेल इन प्रीवियस क्लास वी हैव स्टार्टेड डिस्कसिंग अबाउट आर डी नो एंड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द हार्डवेयर पार्ट ऑफ आर डी नो सो बेसिकली वी डिस्कस्ड अबाउट आर डी नो ऊनो बोर्ड विच इज वन ऑफ द वेरी पॉपुलर आर डी नो बोर्ड एक्सेप्ट दैट वी आर हैविंग सो मेनी डिफरेंट आर डी नो बोर्ड एज वेल यू कैन सी द आर डी नो ड्यू यू कैन सी आर डी नो आर डी नो मेगा सो देर आर सो मेनी डिफरेंट आर डी नो बोर्ड आर डी नो गैलियो इज वन आर डी नो नैनो इज वन सो सो मेनी आर डी नो बोर्ड अवेलेबल बट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट आर डी नो ऊनो इन डिटेल ऑल दिस डिफरेंट बोर्ड कम्स विद डिफरेंट प्रोसेसर्स different cpu speed different rom capabilities and different ports available according to applications today we are going to discuss about the programming in arduino and for that we are going to uh, use the software the arduino software itself or something that called arduino ide arduino integrated development environment the full form of ide and it contains text editor for writing codes a message area a text console a toolbar with buttons for common functions such as series of menus let's go to the ide itself see here here i'm having an arduino so it will show you the screen which will look like something this and then here we are so uh, this is the ide and uh, it connects to the arduino and uh, uh, genino hardware to upload programs and communicate with them you can do it with the help of that and you can download it from the website of arduino it is open source which means it's totally free free of cost to everyone who wants to uh, download it so you can download it from their website if you want me to i will uh, give the link of uh, arduino software in the description below so you can download it from there as well now uh, this software is available for almost uh, every popular os which is used we it is available for mac it is available for windows and even for linux it is available for linux it is very uh, <coughs> it is very profound profound to use uh, uh, such applications in linux if you know then uh, let's discuss about few examples and before we do that i would suggest you to download the id uh, arduino id itself so can you can perform them too so first thing i would like to tell you that that this is one of the codes which i have written and uh, uh, before i discuss i'm not going to discuss the codes here i'm only going to discuss the id itself here if you want me to discuss the code and if you want me to uh, if you want me to explain how the codes work in the uh, arduino please mention them in the comment section below so if you demand then i will be making the video on that too now uh, programs which are written in arduino software or arduino ide are called sketches and the sketches are written in the text edition this basically is your text editor and this sketches are saved with the file extension of .ino so if i want to save this one if i want to save this one then see the instruction here will be ino so i have to write dot ino in the end then uh, the editor has features for cutting pasting and search and replace uh, replace text so 
the messages are given feedback uh, message uh, message area gives feedback while saving and exploring uh, exporting and also it displays error as well down below here so and it will uh, tell you what last activity you did here so save i have cancelled the save last time so it will show it here if i verify it it will tell you that verifying sketch here see so it can it tells you what uh, last activity you did and the code which we write is normally called sketch okay the console itself displays text output by the arduino software and it includes complete error message and uh, other information as well so see here you can see that sketch uses uh, uh, 2920 bytes 1% of program storage space maximum capacity is this much the global variable uses this much of bytes which is 2% 188 bytes is 2% of dynamic memory and leaving 8004 bytes for local variables and maximum capacity is 8192 bytes see it gives you information as well now uh, on the bottom right hand corner of the window it displays the configuration board and serial port uh, I think you might not be able to see it let me now I think you can see that Arduino here see here Arduino Mega or Mega uh, 1560 at Mega 1560 Mega 2560 on third com the toolbar button allows you to verify and upload programs so you can see here this is the verify symbol this is the upload symbol this allows you to uh, open a new console and write new program this one is to open something and this one is to save your code then uh, Arduino has very interesting feature named sketchbook Arduino uses a concept of sketchbook actually the real sketchbook and as you call your code a sketch the sketchbook is a standard place to store the sketches right so sketchbook is something where you can store your program see here you can see here sketchbook experiment one because i have written just one experimental yet in uh, the current li in current library so it will show me the experiment one here right so the sketches in the sketchbook can be opened from uh, file as i've showed you file sketchbook and it will show you whatever sketch you want to go for right and whenever you uh, run the Arduino software for the first time it will automatically create a directory for your sketchbook so you can view or change the location of the sketchbook location from uh, the preference dialog as well right so if you want to you can change where from where you can uh, you where you want your Arduino to look for the sketches which you can do from here from preferences right from here you can browse and uh, uh, use different places to do so and then you have the libraries libraries provides extra functionality for use of sketches like uh, working with hardware on multiple uh, uh, working on hardware or uh, data manipulation in order to use the library in sketch you have to go uh, you have to select it from sketch and then import library you can have the sketch menu here and you can have the include library here see it allows you to include different libraries it allows you to uh, it allows you to upload the library as well and it allows you to add different library as well but doing so uh, it will insert one or more hashtag include statements let's uh, let's let me show you a glimpse if i want to add let's say a mouse so see here it is showing hashtag mouse dot h see based on whatever uh, command you choose it will include a different hashtag include command which is basically uh, used as a library function and because the libraries are uploaded to the board with your sketch they increase the amount of space it takes up so if sketch is no longer near the library then don't use the library because it's not very much uh, uh, 
इट्स नॉट वेरी मच अप्रीशियबल और इट्स नॉट वेरी मच कन्वीनियंट फॉर अस टू डू सो यू कैन एड द थर्ड पार्टी हार्डवेयर एज वेल बिकॉज आर्डिनो प्रोवाइड द थर्ड पार्टी हार्डवेयर सपोर्ट विच कैन बी एडेड टू द हार्डवेयर डायरेक्टरी ऑफ योर स्केच बुक डायरेक्टरी सो यू कैन एड थर्ड पार्टी हार्डवेयर एंड प्लेटफॉर्म्स इंस्टॉल्ड देर मे इंक्लूड बोर्ड डेफिनेशन विच विल अपियर इन द बोर्ड मैनू एंड कोर लाइब्रेरीज बूट लोडर्स एंड प्रोग्रामर डेफिनेशन इज वेल राइट सो यू कैन इंक्लूड डिफरेंट थर्ड पार्टी हार्डवेयर इज वेल आई हैव नॉट एडेड वन सो आई विल नॉट बी एबल टू शो यू बट यू कैन डू इट इफ यू वॉन्ट टू now uh we can have so many different examples before i go to examples let me tell you about boards so board selection has two effects and before i go to board let me tell you about uh, serial monitor monitor first okay so uh, to display the serial sent from the arduino or uh, genuino board over a usb or a serial connector and the display uh the displays uh the monitor the serial monitor it displays the serial sent from the arduino or genuino board over a usb or a serial connector and in order to send the data to the board you have to enter the text and click on the send button to press enter and by doing that you can do that as well you have to cho- choose the baud rate from a uh, uh, drop down menu and if that uh, matches the rate passes the serial dot begin in your sketch there is uh, uh there are different functions which can uh, which can be uh, run using different things here so serial monitor does not process control characters if your sketch needs a complete pro- management of the serial communication with control characters you can use extreme terminal program and connect it to the com port which is assigned to your arduino board i'm not having a board here so i will not be able to uh, show it show it to you right now but if you want to i can uh, run the programs i can connect the board as well then coming to the board and uh, uh, as i mentioned there are two effects of uh, uh the selection of board first one it sets the parameters like uh, cpu uh, cpu speed and baud rate which is used when comp- uh, when compiling and uploading the sketches and the set and the file are fused together fuse a uh, few settings used by the born bootloader command as well and uh, uh, i must mention here that some of the board definitions differ only in the letters so even if you have uh, you have been uploading successfully with a particular selection you will want to check the uh, check it before bonding your bootloader as well, uh, bootloader right and on arduino website you can find out the uh, comparison table between different boards and based on that you can select your board as well uh the software includes different kind of boards itself support for them it supports them and the board manager will include the standard installation which allows us to add support for growing number of different boards of arduino like arduino duo arduino zero edison galileo so many of them after that uh we can write the commands using uh using keyboard so uh, sketch is the name that arduino uses for a program and it is the unit of code that is uploaded and uh, run on the arduino board right now before we uh, move to the <coughs> programs let me show you with the help you can uh, get the help and you can uh, when if you are beginner you can click on getting started it uh, 
gives you introduction of Arduino. It tells you what is Arduino and how you can uh, work with it. It can show you the environment ID itself. It can tell you troubleshooting, references, so many things you can do. You can learn about Arduino here as well. Then here you can have different tools. You can manage libraries from here. You can uh, select the board. Right now, we, I previously was working on Arduino Mega, so I have selected Arduino Mega. From here on, you can select different boards. And see here, uh, there are so many different boards available here. There are a number of boards. And you can select it from it, right? See, here we are having Arduino Uno as well. From here, you can have different processors. You can select different processors. Uh, right now, Arduino is not connected here, so I will not be able to select a port. But if you connect the Arduino, you can uh, the hardware Arduino. Yeah. So if you connect the hardware Arduino, then you will be able to select different ports as well. You can get the info of the board which you have selected. And you can burn the bootloader as well. And you can do so many things. Right, you can uh, archive your sketch, you can auto format, you can uh, set up serial monitors, serial plotters. Then uh, from here on, you can upload or compile your code, your sketch basically. If you want to export the compiled binary file, you can do that too. You can upload using programmer, you can include different libraries from here as well. And you can search the sketch folder as well. And edit has a typical uh, set of instruction which you will see in any edit section of any uh, general editor. It can undo, it can redo, cut, copy, paste. It You can copy from different HTML file or you can copy from Arduino forum itself. It has the comment as well. Uh, I will tell you what comment exactly is and how you can use it. You can increase the font size, you can decrease the font size. You can find, uh, you can do the search and find operation as well as I've told you earlier. Let me show you that. See, here we have ad, uh, increased the font size a little, which will help you to see it more more precisely. And in the file, I have already mentioned that you can uh, take a new one, you can open it, you can uh, go sketchbook, you can go to after going to the sketchbook, you can uh, work on different sketches basically Arduino codes you can see different built-in examples which are pre already present here you can close any uh, any current program you can save it you can do the paste setup you can print your code right so you can do all these things with the help of Arduino now coming to the uh, program writing and first thing I will be explaining will be comment so everything between uh, let me show you this will be this and this will be seen as a command so now you can see the color of uh, my code has been changed it is like grayish now right earlier it was uh, it was the it was holding different colors so that means I have commented it out or I have commented it, commented on code and basically uh, we use the comment if I want to uh, not include some part of the code in in my code itself, right. We use the comment to explain the code. Uh, I use it to explain to you what I do here and I can also use it to show why something is written. Right, so let's comment it out first. I don't want my whole code to go into the comment. So see, except for commenting it that way, there is another way that I can comment something out. See here, see these two slashes. That means a single line comment. <coughs> so this is another style for single line comment. Anything that starts with the two slashes will be commented, which means I'm using this comment to show that to uh, to instruct the user to put or set up the code here right now we have different variables 
variable is a place for storing different uh, piece of data and it has a name it has type it has value now for example uh, i think it would be ideal to bring an example from here let's see the basic blink one okay so let me see so right now it was commented out let me okay so this is the blink one okay first thing was commented out it was correct it was just an instruction see the instructions are given in the comment section see here it is also we are having comment now uh, coming here and discuss uh, uh, discussing the variable so uh, there are so many variables here we can use different variables here right and uh, if i'm assigning something to some pin it would be my variable like for an example if i'm assigning here uh, i'm writing randomly somewhere so if i'm assigning here uh, an led connected to digital pin 13 then i will be writing integer then led pin right integer led pin equal to 13 which means i have assigned the led connected to digital pin 13 okay so this is how you assign a variable and it is being used to indicate which arduino pin my led is going to connect and every time uh, when you use the led pin it appears in the code its value will be retrieved every time so uh, you can use it with different ways the advantage of using variables is that it is easier to move the led to a different pin right you only need to edit the one line of code that assigns the initial value to the variable rather than uh, changing it everywhere in your code and often however the value of the variable will be changed uh, will change with the sketch runs right for example you could uh, store the value uh, and read it from input into the variable as well now arduino provides so many different type of data types here here you can see int which is basically an integer data type so it supports so many different data types like uh, integer float long short uh, character string byte boolean arrays double uh, unsigned character unsigned integer and unsigned long so there are so many uh, so many different uh, data types which are being supported by uh, my arduino for the record let's pin uh, comment it out see i've commented this one out now uh, discussing about the function so function is name name piece of the code that can be used from elsewhere in a sketch right so this word set up this one here you are seeing is actually a actually a function right so normally the first line will provide the information about the function right like uh, here the name is set up the text before and after the name will specify the return type and parameter here and uh, the code between the curly brackets you can see here uh, one uh, curly bracket beginning of curly bracket and this one end of the curly bracket is called the body of my function and uh, that is pretty much what function does whatever written in the curly brackets will be the function of the uh, uh, will be the application of function that that is what uh, function is meant to do so you can call a function uh, if the function is already has been defined then you can just call it and if it is not defined then you can define it and then whenever you want you can call it and there are so many functions that you uh, that you uh, that already has been defined by arduino like the one which uh, we have used here the pin mode one so it is basically a predefined 
function right which is defined by the arduino itself there are so many like it like digital input output uh, digital read digital write uh, the pin mode which we saw here analog read analog write analog reference analog read resolution analog write resolution all these are different functions uh, when it comes to ports we have the microsecond delays delays micro s milli s all these are the functions for uh, different operations then uh, coming coming to the setup which we have used here what is setup and what is loop loop if you are aware of it's very common you will see void setup and void loop in almost not almost in every arduino program so these two are actually a special functions and that are the these two are part of arduino sketch right setup and loop setup is called uh, called once when the sketch starts and it's a good place to do the setup task like setting of pin modes or initializing libraries so whenever i do the setup i will set up the pin modes i have set it up pin mode here see led built in and output so this is called setting of pin modes and the loop is called over and uh, over and over if you want to repeat something to uh, happen over and over so we use loops and basically it is the heart of the sketch and you need to include both functions in your uh, sketch even if you don't use them for any purpose that's why i said it's present in every Arduino code. Then this pin mode. Pin mode function configures a pin as either an input or an output. And to use it, you pass it the number of the pin to configure and the constant input or output. And when configured as the input, pin can detect the state of the sensor like a push button or anything else. And as an output, it can uh, drive an actuator, like actual, uh, like an LED, right? And the one you are seeing here is the typical syntax of pin mode. First, you will write whatever pin you want to use in. Uh, I'm writing uh, writing LED built in. I can change the uh, change it to number of the pin which I want to use, and I can use the output if i want to give it an output whatever mode i basically want to use input or output then we have the digital write you can see here digital write <coughs> so digital write function uh, outputs a value on a pin if the pin has been the configured as an output with the pin mode then its voltage will be set to corresponding value of 5 volt and some of the volt uh, for some of the boards it would be around 3.3 uh, volt as well right so for high it will be 5 or 3.3 volt and for low it will be zero right or ground so when i have high it will be it will have a uh, voltage 5 volt and when i'm uh, giving low that means led will be off voltage will be zero and the typical syntax of digital write is visible here. You write digital write, then uh, whatever pin you are using, LED built-in pin I'm using, and then either high or low, whatever you want to, uh, whatever value you want to enter. Right. You can uh, enter any pin number as well, but make sure the pin number here and pin number here stays same, or else uh, the operation will not be performed. Then I'm using delay here just to uh, delay why am i uh, writing thousand milliseconds here because thousand milliseconds uh, are one second thousand uh, whatever i enter in the delay will be always in the millisecond so thousand which means it will be one second right it uh, basically tells the arduino to wait for specific number of milliseconds before continuing the next line right so before it moves to digital right it will wait for one second or thousand milliseconds and then it will execute the next line then we have the digital read as you can see here okay not uh, included digital read but there is a digital read which uh, function reads the value from specific digital pin if either it is high or low 
and uh, the syntax typical syntax for digital read let me include one here no issue here we go digital read uh, the typical uh, syntax will be digital read LED button and just that see okay I think I comment uh, I given comments here else let me change it control X control Y there you go right so uh, it is uh, uh, tells you shows you to read the value from specific digital pin it can be either high or low so you can read its value here then we come uh, okay I think we made a mistake why is it not glowing okay it's the LED built B U I L T built in okay now you can see so uh, this is a good function that if uh, you are using if you are using the same variable then it will show you in the same color so if you make a mistake it will be very easily visible right <coughs> now um, there is one more thing which I want to discuss about is the signal storage and its analyze analysis with the help of Arduino so for that let's go back to the PPT so uh, extensible and open source hardware boards like Arduino make it very feasible to add on different hardware capabilities as per our requirement and one such extension that you could possibly do is to add in hardware module for storing processing data through either your uh, micro SD card or regular SD card as well and here you can see how you can add it right it show you it shows you the micro SD card module this is a micro SD card module so uh, micro SD card module has a power power ground and serial uh, serial peripheral in interface SPI three type of fins right which are indicated here power ground and SPI so this one is ground this one is the power and this four are SPI pins SPI is uh, synchronous serial uh, serial data protocol which used for communicating with one or more peripheral devices and in SPI connection there is usually one master device and uh, multiple or one or one or more than one slave devices so this micro SD module could be connected to the Arduino board for storing signal uh, signal data and processing the signal data from the micro SD card that you connect with it so uh, that was one of the modules the micro SD card module that you can connect as well so uh, there you have it Arduino is one of the most widely adopted boards that is being used for various projects globally and it has been a global community that regularly uh, shares different projects based on Arduino so you can browse through that uh, whole community to get inspired motivated and build something of your own and uh, if you want to learn it if you want me to guide you towards the uh, the whole community of Arduino I will be providing the link of the community or forum in the comment section or in the description below so you can watch and explore different projects available there and you can also filter projects based on your skills uh, skill level and the type of the purpose of the project that you have in your mind so that was it about Arduino and the programming of Arduino if you want me to uh, make the separate videos or the playlist on how Arduino works please uh, mention your thoughts in the comment section so they will they can reach me 
so that I can uh, create the whole uh, playlist about Arduino and how different codes work. I can show you how different codes work as well. So any kind of feedback or any type of uh, um, review will be very much welcome. If you have any doubts or queries, any questions, mention or everything in the comment section below. I will make sure to uh, view every single one of them and reply every single one of them as soon as possible. That is also wind for this playlist as well as the whole course of signal and systems. So I will be seeing you next time with a new playlist and new course and with new hopes. So until next time, take care of yourselves. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye from Shock Popsicle. See you around.